make a start. Okie doke, guys. Um, I'll jump down. I've got my camera angled down here so you can see everything. Um, can you guys actually, are you guys able to see uh, the, um, are you guys able to see the presentation as well? Can you give me a thumbs up, just make sure you can see the presentation as I go along with that. Yep, Archie, Ryan, that's in perfect. Sorry, yeah. You're cracking there. Thanks, guys. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. This is the uh, first of our More Than An Athlete session for our Blues From Home um, program. Uh, tonight's session is around cooking or probably more food preparation than anything. I'm not really going to be cooking that much. Um, so tonight, what I'm going to be making uh, for you guys, and, and again, you can always come back to this video and I'll, I will be uploading the presentation as well so you'll have all the uh, ingredients and instructions. We're going to be making some uh, protein bites or protein balls. Um, some people just call them like coconut, like rum balls and things like that, but there's no... Uh, they're, they're a bit more of a healthy option. Um, so there's actually sort of no flour and things like that. But I'll, I'll get through the presentation. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, our protein balls are free from, or well, the ingredients we're using tonight, the recipe we're using is free from nuts, free from gluten, free from refined sugar, and free from dairy, depending on which protein you choose to use, if you're using protein. So again, I'll refer back to um, our webinar last Monday, which is staying healthy in lockdown with Jody Prendergast about supplements and using proteins and stuff. Probably not, we probably wouldn't really um, advise our athletes to start looking at using proteins until they're under 16, under 18 at this stage. You might want to use a, a sort of a, there might be kids proteins and things like that out there, but you should be able to get enough protein from just your usual um, dietary intake uh, from the food you're having at home and things like that. So you shouldn't need supplements until you're maybe getting a little bit older and looking at trying to get muscle. All right. So the good thing about the protein balls that we're making, um, they can uh, last up to a month in the fridge. They can last up to three months in the freezer. Um, they're a really good snack for before and after exercise because they're high in protein and high in natural sugars. It's also a really good mid-morning mid or all afternoon snack that you can uh, just throw in the lunchbox um, or just have ready to go in the fridge at home if you're homeschooling right now. It's something that is high in fibre but high in protein so it should be pretty sustainable and then get you through from breakfast until lunch or in the afternoon. A simple recipe, okay. Um, I made some before which I'll show you later but I'm going to go through and make some now as well. If I can do it with reasonable ease, I had a few hiccups but if I can do it then I'm sure you, you guys can do it. Um, probably as skillful, if not more skillful than me in the kitchen. Um, I do need to say that you'll need some supervision if you're having a go at this, because I use, we use a food processor, so anytime we're using blades, knives, we're using a knife as well. Um, yeah, make sure that you've got your parents' permission and that they're showing you how to do that properly. There's no baking required. The beauty of these is we're just using all fresh, fresh ingredients and, and powders and things like that, and, and we're just gonna chuck them in the processor and, and make up the, the mixture and then they'll go in the fridge to sort of set for a few hours. Um, the other good thing about these protein bites is that they've, they've, you've got flexibility with the recipe. So um, I'm gonna use my, my vanilla protein tonight, but earlier today I used cacao, um, and that made like a sort of a chocolatey sort of a protein ball, but you could also use chocolate protein. So there's different, different um, ingredients. So earlier today I used this uh, organic cacao powder. Uh, tonight I'm going to try this uh, protein. This is a vegan protein, so it stays dairy free. Sorry, the light's a bit bright there. I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just a vanilla protein, but could use a, uh, a, a chocolate protein as well. That one's not dairy free, but just a, an example. So the equipment you'll need, um, you will need a blender or a food processor. So I've got a a food processor here. I can't show you the uh, actual bit because it's plugged into the wall. It doesn't come far enough under. Um, you'll need some scales. So I'm using some electronic scales, but you could use um, just uh, yeah analog scales if you needed to. Whatever you need to use to measure. Um, you will need a cutting knife. Um, I've got one here. 
good sharp knife um, to help you pit the date. And you'll need a chopping board. You'll need two or three bowls, which you can see I've got laid out here. So I've got my dates in one here. I've got my coconut here in one. And I'm going to put my seeds in this one. Uh, you'll need a measuring cup or a measuring tool um, or an equivalent of that. You probably need a, table, a tablespoon or two. So you just handy to have around or maybe a wooden spoon or something, plastic spoon. And then you need something to store the protein balls in when you're finished, which I actually don't have ready. So, I'm going to store my protein balls in this big Tupperware container and they'll go in the fridge. So, that's what we need. That's the equipment. The ingredients are sunflower seeds. I'm using sunflower seeds, but you could use pumpkin seeds. Uh, you could use sesame seeds or chia seeds. I'm using the dual date. Um, 330 grams of jeweled dates, and measure those out. I'm going to use uh, one third of a cup of, again, the vanilla protein which I've got here, but you could use cacao or, or um, chocolate protein if you wanted it to make the chocolate protein balls. And we also need some uh, desiccated uh, coconut, which we're just going to use those to roll the uh, mixture around in once we've got them going. All right, so just quickly, I want to really touch on um, a big part of why I wanted to do this and why I was excited to do this tonight with you guys um, is to talk a little bit about the reasons why we put things in our food and also the reason why it's really good for us to be cooking um, something from scratch is because it, it's important to understand exactly what's going into our food. We spend so much time, um, we, spend, we spend so much time on the court, you know, as you get older in the gym, looking after your body and, and, and preparing and training to actually play basketball or sport, um, but we don't put anywhere near as much time into a couple of other things off the court, one of the main ones being nutrition. Okay, so we just kind of rely on obviously our parents to form us and prepare us food and then later in life we, we probably eat a little bit too much takeaway or if you're, you know, if you're lucky enough to get over to college, you rely on the cafeterias to, to make your food. Um, there's something really, um, there's something really great about creating something from scratch, but also um, having practice at doing that before you sort of move out of home or go away to, to, to college or whatever you do next after, after school. Um, understanding what goes into your food, so learning to read the ingredients on, on packets and things like that and understanding exactly what goes into it. So I'm going to just quickly go through the three main ingredients. I'm conscious I really want to start actually making the ball soon. Uh, so sunflower seeds, the reason they're good for us and the reason we're using them um, is because they're rich in, in complex B vitamins, which is important for a healthy nervous system. Um, they're a good source of phosphorus, magnesium, iron, calcium, potassium, and protein, um, and all of those things help boost your immune system. Immune system. So really important. Um, they also just add, they've got a really nice texture, so they add a nice crunch to the ball. Dates, uh, they're, they're sort of our binding agent for this, so similar, like they're sort of um, replacing eggs and flour. So the dates are high in fibre, uh, they're high in natural sugars, and they've got good amounts of iron, potassium, and, and B vitamins again. And finally, our cacao or our protein powder, whichever you're deciding to use. Um, again, I'll just talk quickly about the difference between cacao, because some people might think I'm having trouble pronouncing cocoa. There is a slight difference. Um, cacao refers to the bean, um, they're the same bean, the cacao bean essentially, but Cacao refers to the bean that has not yet been roasted, and, and cocoa is um, the bean and the powder once it's been roasted. Generally, cacao products are higher in protein and lower in sugar. They're less processed. So it's a little bit better for us, but essentially the same thing. You can make chocolate and make things using the same, using cacao or cocoa. So today um, and tonight, I'm, I'm choosing to, to use cacao. Um, cacao is high in selenium and magnesium, okay? So so two vitamins that are really important. Um, protein, as we know, is an, is an essential macronutrient. Um, it helps us build muscle, repair tissues, and helps the body create enzymes and hormones. Okay, so again, for our older kids, you can look into a protein supplement of some description of powder. Um, we're gonna get, I'm gonna get started. So I've already sprinkled my coconut into the bowl here. As you can see, if the light's not too bright there, white. Coconut, so that's probably why you can't see that. Um, I need to pit my dates, okay, which I did earlier, but essentially the way I pitted them was they had a little sort of a um, like a connection up the top here that I just chopped off. 
um, and then I just sort of put the blade into the into the gate until I hit the, the pit. Once I hit the pit, I put the knife out, and you can kind of you can kind of spread them like that and get the pit out. So I did that for a few of those earlier. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to measure out my date. So I need 330 grams. I'm going to measure those out and I'm going to soak them in hot water for a minute and let their fresh um, dates, which I don't have here today. I've, I've just got some dried medjool dates that I've got from Woolies. Um, so I'm going to measure out 330 grams of those and then I'm going to chuck them in some hot water for about a minute because I've pre boiled my water here. So 330 before is about 12 dates, I think. 330 grams. See how it goes here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to be eight more. Eleven, twelve, four, seven, twenty. There we go. Six, maybe twenty. Nine, ten, twenty. Ooh, that's probably about. That, that'll be okay, I think. So that's two ninety-seven. So about twenty dates. So in various sizes. That's not too bad. All right, I'm going to chuck them in just in some Tupperware, something that's safe to have boiling hot water in it. Um, and then I'm going to pour in my hot water and make sure I've got enough to sort of coat all of those there. Just let them kind of sit for a minute while I get some other stuff ready. Uh, really important too, guys, I forgot to say before I started blooding on, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. I did wash my hands, so don't worry about that. Uh, make sure you're washing hands really thoroughly right up to right up your forearm sort of thing before you you know because we're gonna handle food, we're gonna be rolling in your half and that. Make sure you wash your surface as well. So before I started today, you know, I'll, I'll wipe this all down, sprayed it with some uh, disinfecting spray as well and gave it a good wipe and a dry. So always prepare your surface. Um get rid of those dates now. Use those ones. So while we're letting them uh so I can start to measure out the sunflower seeds. So again, I'll set my scales to zero. The beauty of these scales is again, you put the bowl on, which obviously weighs a fair bit. You want to set it to zero again, so you know that everything that's going in is, uh, is just your ingredients or the weight that's showing. So that's a zero now, even though the bowl's on it. So that was, that was pretty cool for me to learn. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of cooking with scales and it's a cool little function. So um, these packets here, these sunflower seeds you can get from Woolies are 200 grams each. So usually a bag and a half should get us to about 300. So there's my half a bag, it's left over from before, that's 96. So we're getting there. And my second packet. Ooh, gonna be Pretty much right on three, right on three hundred. So oh, two ninety four. It's come, come back down. Not too bad. All right, two ninety four. Not bad. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to get those now, and I'm just going to chuck them straight into the processor. Okay. So the beauty of this, have your processor set up. There you go. I'm going to chuck them straight in. Okay, next what I'll do is I might do my protein. Um, the dates, yeah, they're not gonna, actually I'll drain the dates first. So again, you can use an actual uh, colander if you like, if you've got one, put one down here. Use an actual colander. You don't want too much excess water um, going into your mixture because the, the, the dates themselves are already gonna be uh, providing enough moisture to get that good consistency in our mixture. So they don't need to be run dry, but just make sure you get most of the water out of them. Give them a shake around. Sorry guys, I know you can't see me. I've just got a colander over here at the sink. And the tap. Get rid of the water. They can go straight in the, uh, in the mixer as well. Okay, moving along. All right, I'm going to go protein next. So again, I had some trouble with this earlier. You guys are a lot smarter than me, but I had to look up exactly what uh, 
what the protein is going to weigh in terms of grams because it's one cup is 250 mils. So divided by three, that's 83.33 mils. Um, but obviously the powder is going to weigh a little bit more than that. So we, we're just going to go um, as close as we can to 83. And that should work out okay. So you want a third. Third of a cup. A little measuring cup always tricking as well because that looks like a third for me now already. And, yeah, not far off actually. Done. A little extra, little bit extra protein for the game. I need it. I need to get a bit stronger. Okay, that's it. Shake your ingredients around. All right, and in goes the protein powder. I spread it around pretty evenly. I haven't done this with protein yet. I've done it with the uh, with the with the cacao. I might have a lot more cacao. Before, but that's okay. All right, so I've got all my ingredients now into the food processor, and I'm going to chuck that back up where it goes. Want it. All right, put that on there. All good. Gonna move around, no problem. All right, making sure the power is switched on over there. Again, if you're doing this, especially if you're a bit younger or you're as bad at this as I am, make sure you've got some supervision. My supervision is here, but she's in the other room, so I swear if I hurt myself somehow, she will come and help me. I hope. Okay, so you're going to hear some loud noise now as I'm going to switch on the processor. So I might mute myself so you don't get annoyed by that sound. I'm going to unmute. Have a quick look. Looking okay. This happened to me earlier as well. So what what what's essentially happened is it, it looks as though there's not quite um, enough moisture. I can't quite show you guys where I'll try and show you. So it looks a bit like that. So now it's not quite enough moisture. We want to make it look a little bit more doughy than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a little bit of warm water, which over here. Think. The beauty of these protein balls is they're pretty forgiving. So if the mixture's too, too dry, uh, you can just throw a little bit of water in there, and then that'll usually fix up the problem. If they're a little bit too if it's a little bit too wet, you can probably throw a little bit more cacao, a little bit more protein powder, or maybe some more seed. That'll also get the job done. This has happened with mine before. Water in, warm water in, away she goes. Just a little bit, should be enough. And then you guys again.
So I just added some more water there. It wasn't quite enough. Here we go again. Alrighty guys, done. Added a little bit more water there. Sorry to put you on silence. I myself, sorry, but annoying noise. Okay, so you can see there we've got our mixture. Nice and moist, it's all come together. The seeds, the protein, the dates, all looking pretty good, binding together there. The next step now is we want to get our bowl of coconut ready and our, uh, our, our Tupperware that we're going to keep Keep them stored in. So, coconut. Again, wash your hands. So have, grab out probably about a tablespoon size of, uh, of the mixture. Okay, so you can use a tablespoon or a spoon if you want. Just make sure that it's unplugged and you remove the bowl. Remove it a little bit so you can see me. Getting these out. So that's about as much as I've got, like a little patty there. I'm just going to roll that, roll that around in our palm. Roll it around until you're happy with the size of the ball. Again, so there's my, my ball there. And I'm just going to drop it in the coconut here. And just roll it around so it gets a nice even coating of our coconut. Grab, grab some coconut, sprinkle it on the top, press it in a little bit so that it sets nicely. There's our ball. Again, a little bit too much light. Make one more. So I'll grab another one. Again, you can make these at whatever size you like. You can make them a little bit smaller if you wanted. If you wanted to take two or three and have them throughout the day. I like them a little bit bigger, so it's sort of a, a bigger snack. Again, rolling them around in the palm of your hand. Into the coconut, roll them around, and again they'll feel they shouldn't feel too floppy. They should sort of hold them at the fridge. If you chuck them in the fridge overnight, they'll really sort of set nicely, bind together, and they should have a pretty nice consistency. Again, so the coconut in here might turn on one of my lights so that it's not as bright in here. Too dark. No, it should be too dark. No, it's too dark. Okay. Yeah, that's our ball there. It should be better. So, there's our ball there. Take it in. Coconut. I'll make one more for you guys because I've got a bit of a bit of a surprise before we finish up for tonight. 
thought I'd better do something a bit more fancy since I'm not actually cooking, I'm just preparing something and not actually baking anything. So I pre-prepared some blue coconut. Very, very rare blue coconut can only be found in and around Franklin Stadium. So blue coconut with our vanilla protein bites. This one and then so blue coconut. You've got yourself some Franken Franken blue themed protein bites. There you go. There it is. Franken blue. Protein ball, how good is that? So, the real secret was I just found some blue food dye and chucked it in a <laughs> lab wrap bag with the coconut and mixed it around. So, no real secret to that one. Um, so, there's my, my three protein balls ready to go in there. I'm going to keep making some. I'm just to prove that I did actually do some before. Here's the ones I made earlier. Four ready to go. Been in the fridge for a couple of hours. There's some uh, chocolate ones, chocolate protein and cacao in those ones. So, gonna have plenty of snacks for this week. Okay. So, I'm finished there. That's, a, that's the end of our practical kind of cooking session. Um, hopefully, I've gone over everything. Um, again, just be really careful with appliances, um, knives, things like that, anything, especially if you haven't used it before. Um, big thank you to a, a great friend of mine, Melanie Leeson, um, from Metal and Grace. She's an amazing chef and, and, and a great person. She sent me the recipe in the tutorial. Um, I would have honestly probably just made a peanut butter sandwich um, if she hadn't, uh, hadn't helped me out, not really using long peanut butter sandwiches. Um, and also thank you to Sarah Doyle, uh, Liam Doyle, whose mum, um, she lent me her food processor. It was a uh, funny little story. I tried to use the blender that I've got here and uh, it didn't agree with the dates and the seeds. It was too dry and I nearly burnt the house down making uh, making protein balls. So that would have been pretty fun if I had to try that again tonight and smoke started coming out of it in front of you guys. You would have been questioning uh, my decision making, that's for sure. So that's the end of the session tonight. Um, we will upload this video so um, you guys can try along at home if you like. Um, give it a shot. Try the blue coconut. Again, just pretty simple food dye in a, in a little uh, sandwich, little Ziploc bag, and then sort of shake it around and mix it around. Um, again, mix up what, what seeds you want to try. All seeds have different sort of vitamins and micronutrients in them, but the sunflower seeds provide a really good crunch because they don't all blend up in the mixture. As you can see, there's some sort of whole ones still sitting in there. Um, and mix it up if, you, if you're in our you know, 16s, 18s and you're looking to sort of put on, on some muscle um, during the break and before next season, then, then adding the protein powder can be really good for recovery. Uh, it can also be good for a real, real good snack to keep your uh, metabolism uh, sort of firing and uh, to, to help supplement your, your, your training and weight program. So again, with your food, always always ask questions really good to learn these skills now. Um, get in the kitchen with your parents. Don't just expect them to make your dinner. Get in there, learn how to do it, and start trying to make maybe one meal a week, two meals a week for the family. Um, it's, it's, it's just a great skill for when you move out of home. Because trust me, it, it hits you like a ton of bricks. You move out of home before you know it. You think you, you've got all the time in the world. Um, and the better you can prepare food, especially if you're going to be like overseas or away from home, um, the better you're going to be in terms of your training and recovery. And it's a massive, massive part of what we um, what we need to be doing as athletes um, to keep ourselves uh, performing at our best. So thank you guys very much for tonight. I'll wrap it up there. Um, I think you guys can turn on your microphones if you need to. But if not, we'll finish off the session.
Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And don't forget, we've got uh, up and uh, get up and go tomorrow morning, strength and conditioning with me, more of a bio focus. Um, and then tomorrow night, I uh, sat down and had a QA with Bethany Knight from, from Headspace Franklin. That was really, really educational. Um, she was a terrific resource for us. So thank you guys and have a great rest of your Sunday night. Hopefully, I'll see a few of you tomorrow morning in strength and conditioning. See you guys.